Welcome to Bonehead Gaming. Okay, gamers, and a nice little surprise. Alpha 16 Experimental is here. Now, the starting is pretty much the same. Got to collect your grass for your bread roll. Bed roll, sorry. Now, I'm just going to have a little run through this game. It's going to be a short video. Um, this isn't going to be my continued playthrough. I'm hopefully going to get a server started with my boy Silly and Kingsman. Or at least that's the plan. But I thought whilst I've got the game and we're waiting for the server to be set up and started, everyone to get ready off for work and all the rest of it, I'll have a little run around. Now, I have gone into the Navgaze map. Does that mean that's a bad way to run? I'm not sure what the red zone means. Ah, uh, yeah, it's all green. So if I walk into this, I'm going to start getting hurt. Yeah, enter the deadly radiation zone. So let's get out of there. Man. I don't know if it's just me, but the movement seems real slow. This is run. I mean, this is the walk speed. This is run speed. And here we've got our first house. Oh, I'm not sure what I hit then. Uh, it may be a little bit dark, I do apologise about that. Now when you select things, you may notice here we have quick keys. So if I move away and press S, you can see down here it's scrapping that item. So that can come in handy as long as you don't get the traditional sort of this box being locked and every time you press S it starts typing up in there. So first house is a bit of a waste, but we do get a candle. <coughs> now I'm pretty sure I saw a building over in the distance here, so... Yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh, that looks like a church over there. Or probably a morgue. I'm pretty sure that's a new building. Not 100% sure. That could be the hotel, but that looks to me like it's a little bit big for the hotel. <coughs> Oh, there you are. Now, I do need to find some stones. Well, I suppose let's just craft this bedroll a minute. Let's do a little bit of the questing as we go. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a nice little stone axe together. Now, the one thing with crafting on this as well now is you cannot sort of spend all night crafting. Let's uh, favourite that with the S key and W to craft. And let's keep making our way towards this big ass building. So yeah, whereas before I used to gather a lot of resources and when the night time would come I'd hide away in my little house. Ah, that is the standard hotel. Ah, balls. I thought we had a new PI to start with then. We have a zombie straight away though, so let's get ourselves a wooden club on the go. And let's see how we fare against her. So yeah, you can't craft a load of weapons to level them up. You see everything's level 25 now. You dare, bitch! Instead of the usual level 1. You have to actually put points into your tools. Now, I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just going to get in a safe space because I am hearing a lot more zombies. I'm being hunted from somewhere. I'm not sure where that's coming from, though. I think I just saw a zombie across the road. Yeah, there's one. She is coming for me. Right, let's take her down. Whoa. Yeah, girl. Right, look. I can still hear more zombies. What the hell? Ah, oh, it's a snake. Hope you guys can see this okay. Wow, the snake has a lot of health. Alright, I'm out of um, stamina. <clears throat> Let's let us recharge and we'll try again. Let's see if we can set him on fire. Uh, 
Oh, he's about to hit. Oh, come on. Oh, final hit and he's dead. Still being hunted. Alright, so we got meat and leather. Oh no, that's animal hide, isn't it? There's still someone around here. Oh shit. Now this guy. Where's that candle to? This will be a sleeper. Hey, big mama. And we get quest. Now, see, we're still being hunted. Now, the problem with seven days now is. When you enter a building, you've constantly got to worry about um, zombies that are hiding away. So, there's going to be a constant threat. It's not a case of, right, I run into a building, keep quiet, and no one's going to find me. Did that say I'm hungry then? No. Shouldn't have done. I'll take my candle back. We need to get ourselves some more grass fibres for the next quest. So, let's go do that, and we'll get ourselves a bit of stone while we're here. See the hitbox is still a little off on the grass. Alright, clothing, plant fiber gloves, pants, shirt, let's get the rest. I need plant fiber hood and shoes. I'll accept that for the moment. Okay, did my clothing all go on automatically or did I do that? Plant fiber shoes. Okay, no, the plant fiber shoes didn't even craft. Okay. And there we go. Let's wear the shoes, Jay. Next quest. Guess I'll have a little bit of food in a minute. Grab a wood and make a club. Yep, we did that, but we didn't do it properly. Oh, looks like a bridge over there. Is that a prison? Oh, we may have found a prison. Now you see the wood, I'm only getting one per swing at the moment. Oh, I get coal from... Wow. Oh shit. That is the new buzzard. Or the vulture. Don't want to be messing with him, so I want to get to a safe room in a minute, so if you guys bear with me. I'm going to get myself into a safe room, or safe-ish room, I should say. And then we'll see if we can go through any of the new items, if there is any, available yet. And we'll call that an episode. I know it'll be a short one. But this is, like I say, just a little test run before we start our seven days to die. Experimental multiplayer server. Okay, this room looks like it's clear. Got my land claim blocked right there that should block the doors.
Okay, so anyway, let's get into the menus. Alright, so we'll turn that off. So we'll go for the basic blocks. They all look pretty standard. First aid kit's got a slightly different logo, but that's about it. And the bandages. Building blocks, whoops. Look standard, cobblestone wedges, secure chests, doors, arrow slots, had all those before. I think the frames are the same, but the logos or pictures are a bit different. Windows look about the same. All the same there. All the same there. Oh, candle table. I'm not sure if that's new or not. But yeah, this so far isn't looking too much different. Storage box. Ah, storage box. That doesn't have the, um... Let's have a look at a minute. No, because normally the storage boxes had the ammo, um, what was it, the medicine, supplies and all that stuff on it, so that's different. Um, and that's all that's in there. So the resources, again they look the same. Weapons, Molotov cocktail, now that's new. So 30 gas, 1 cloth, 1 oil. Oil actually has a use now, that's nice. Beforehand it was only used for like two things. And I think I very, very rarely actually bothered using it. Oh, you can craft a machete! That is awesome, and only 20 forged iron. I am happy with that. You do need the um, skill to unlock that. So, yeah, I didn't miss anything on that one. So, tools and, tools and traps. Oh, we can make a paintbrush now, we'll do that. Um, right, now let's, before we do anything, let's just try this paintbrush tool out. Ah, you need paint. If you see on the bottom right hand side there, I got paint. So let's just see if we do a search for paint. You need a chem station or a science station, chrysanthemum, cotton, goldenrod, and murky water. That's easily enough done, you get a good farm going. We're fine. Oh, I've just seen a new item icon there, but we'll do that in a minute. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. Loose boards. A false floor or trap that will disintegrate when stepped on. Oh wow, that's kind of interesting. That'd be good for mob traps. So I've got a loose board, three by three. Someone's just died outside. And another loose board there. So we've got food and cooking, aloe vera seed, yucca seeds, I think that's a new icon for the yucca seeds. So Chrysanthemum's got a new icon, coffee's got new icons, but they're all the same sort of seeds at the moment, and hops was there before. Now science, this I don't remember having before. But to be fair that seems a mixture of the previous items so I'm not too worried about. Clothing, got the standard plant fiber, the animal hide the cloth, the leather, so they all seem pretty much standard. Decorations, yeah they all look the same. Pretty much all the, oops, all the same. Change it, oh no that's the same sign. Now I have heard there's a new bow, a compound bow which I can't see at the moment so I'm guessing there's a lot of stuff still to be done behind the um crafting books and stuff like that now before we just log off let's have a look no where's our quests skills <coughs> they added a new so we've got the player stats that looks about the same we've got a journal which is our completed quests oh I oh know these are like the information windows that pop up so instead of being under your quest they're in here now Here's your quests, uh, your, your usual bits and pieces, now the skills. This is how we get our tools leveled up basically, and as you saw when I was hitting the tree with a wood, uh, sorry I was hitting the tree with a stone axe, I was getting one wood per time. If I level up my tool smithing, that should give me one, a better crafting quality, and also the higher the crafting quality, or the tool, the higher the amount of resources I should collect are. I think that's how it works. Now it does look like there's more here because we've got five pages now, so 
Oh, battery, yes. Hold on, let's try. So we have turrets. I didn't see those a minute ago. So we've got the auto turret, which costs an SMG. 10 Porsche iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. SMG might be a little bit pricey on that, but not too bad. And the shotgun. So, actually not too bad. Um, let's try the battery. See, these are quite reasonable to build. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, let's just have a quick more look at a couple more skills. So weapon tool, guns, they're all standard. Science, armor crafting. Now I believe the armor crafting, it's no matter what armor you craft, it goes into this now rather than sort of light armor, heavy armor, whatever it was before. <coughs> the fixer. That looks to me like I've got a little point in archery. Not sure how that happens, there's nothing up here. Athletics have done a little bit of running around. Health nut, as usual. Yeah, just I'm only gonna stop at the ones I think are newer ones. Ah, right, okay, maybe I was wrong about the armor thing then. Because we got cloth armor here. So that's clothing armor. Oh, that's armor crafting. So that's to build craft stronger armor. And this is receive lift damage, so as you get punched and hit, I guess this one goes up. Uh, so we've got concrete mixing, workbench, usual chem station. Bad mechanic. Putting things back together has never been your strong point, but you get more useful when it's taking them apart. Receive more resources when harvesting with construction tools. Nice. Usual gun once, miscellaneous as usual. And then the paints. This skill cannot be purchased with skill points. Find and read magazines to unlock it. Okay, so we've got decorations, forks, full. I don't know how to pronounce that. Masonry, metal, walls, wood. And roofing, steel as usual, electricity, lorem ipsum dolorous emit, so emit. I'm guessing that's some sort of Latin thing. Melee traps, ranged traps, uh, generator bank, do it yourself. Why go out and risk your life scavenging when you can build your own parts? Oh, we can construct medical part, uh, mechanical parts. I like that's going to be a good one to get. Uh, those are all usual ones. Yeah, usual facilities, shotguns, boomstick, battery bank, schematical books, rare loot, and the treasure hunter. Uh, anyway, guys, that is just a quick base introduction into Seven Dies Alpha 16 Unstable. Hopefully, we will have the server up, and the three of us will be running around like crazy little bastards later on. Anyway, guys, happy gaming. Enjoy. Bye.